What is up, YouTube? It's Spooky Loops, and I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Have you ever started a chase in a game of DVD only to lose three generators once you finally down your first survivor? I think it's fair to say that we've all been there at one point or another. It's pretty easy to get stressed out and start saying things like, oh my god, I'm getting gen rush. They must have brand new parts. This game is already over. Filthy cheaters! Survivors are OP! Ah! <clears throat> The harsh reality of the situation is gen rushing really isn't a thing majority of the time. It really boils down to this. If you're engaged in a lengthy chase, the other three survivors are going to do gens completely uncontested because, well, that's their objective and what else are they really supposed to do when you're not around? So in today's video, I'm going to show you a build that will assist you in this kind of problem. Don't forget your towels. This is going to be a sweaty one. I'd say the biggest issue when it comes to losing gens early in the match is due to a few things. Survivor spawns and your chase durations. Being that you can only be in one place at one time, it may seem hard to keep pressure on other survivors you're not in direct contact with. But I think I have a solution for this problem. My first perk is Corrupt Intervention. This lovely plague teacher will block the three furthest generators for me for two minutes, making it much easier to manage four gens in close proximity than seven. Once I've downed my first survivor, I'm gonna be using my second perk, Thrilling Tremors. When a survivor is picked up from the ground, the entity will block all non-occupied generators for 16 seconds and shows me which gens are being repaired currently in red. After my survivor friend is hooked, I'll make my way over to that desired generator and use my next perk, Pop Goes the Weasel. While this perk is active, I can kick any desired generator and take 25% of its progress right off the top. But that's not all. I'll also be applying my final perk onto this gen, Eruption. After the gen has been popped, Eruption will stay active on that generator until I down my next survivor. When I do, the generator will explode, taking 6% regression and incapacitating any survivor actively working on it. Now the cool thing, since that survivor is incapacitated, I'm going to lock that generator right back in their face with Thrilling Tremors, and thus the cycle continues. This build can be used on universally every killer in DVD. However, today I've chosen to use the Legion, because well, the Legion is kind of ass. Anyways, let me show you this in action. Ooh, lovely. Looks like we're on Fractured Cowshed, an absolute treat. And they brought a key and a hatch offering. Corrupted Adventure is going to lock the uh, three furthest generators for me, so we don't want to spend too much time in this area, but let's go up top and see if we can see anybody over here. Seems that we have some friends in here. Hello, Nancy. I think there's two survivors here, actually. There are. Lovely. Ha. Let's go ahead and give uh, you and Jin Lee a little schmooch as well. Ha. And let's cancel here. Ha. Alrighty. Now, they do have uh, an abundance of resources to use, unfortunately. Ooh, we're going to eat that pallet. Oh, baby. All right, let's go ahead and kick this. Let's apply eruption to it, and let's go proceed with our chase with Yunjin Lee. Oh, a sprint burst. Very nice. Very good, very good. All righty. Hopefully we can catch her here. It'd be swell. All right, and that's going to be dual eruptions. Let's go ahead and pick them up and lock it up with thrilling tremors. So now there are two people in the middle gen that are now incapacitated. And let's go ahead and hook Yoon Jin Lee. Really, Chambers will go ahead and keep this block for a few more moments. And let's make our way back over to the main barn. And then we'll use Pop Goes the Weasel. Actually, you know what? Let's get this down as well, too. All right. Let's be the gods. The old and the new. All right. She's down. Let's go ahead and pick Nancy up. And we've also reapplied eruption to this generator right here. And let's throw them up. Now, a little cool indicator is now if somebody comes to save Nancy, we're going to know that someone's back over here by the barn. All right, and that gen is now popped. Let's take a look and see. Ooh. I smell a no mither gamer here. Oh, we have dead hard, maybe? All right, another eruption on that gen. And Thrilling Tremors, let's lock it up again. So now we're able to lock everything up on the map. And we also locked uh, the barn up. 
So by the time we hook this Yunjin Lee, we'll head back over to the main building and uh, see what's going on. There's a lot of progress on this gen. Holy cow. And a fresh pop goes the weasel. Boop. There you go. I just wanted to know where they are. All right, they're going to be back on this gen again. Oh, Nancy in big trouble here. Hope you got a dead heart of some sort. Oh, she has a pallet, though. We got rid of this pallet a long time ago. Down she goes. Early Germans is still on cooldown. That's okay. Let's take a look at this, Jen. Uh, beautiful. Skill check's going to buy us some time. It's Looks like uh, she's going to use her sprint burst. However, I am also very fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. That gen's got an eruption on it, so hopefully we're able to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, my lord. Hello. Let's get in chase with this huge Jin Lee. And then we have eruption on that gen in the middle. Let's see if we can keep Meg occupied. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's a dead heart or I'm just bad. Probably both. Oh, perfect. We'll get in chase with her, and hopefully Meg goes back on the gen because she thinks she's safe. And then we're going to hit her with Eruption. Perfect. All right, we lost uh, that gen. Let's go ahead and lock everything up with the early tremors. Perfect. Sweet stuff. If I had to guess here, I would assume <laughs> that this is Nancy on this gen once again. We can also apply pop while we're in Feral Frenzy. A little fun fact, I don't know if you knew that. Let's break this door a little bit easier for us to get through. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, that was a good try. And up she goes. I do assume that Nancy is probably back on this gin. No, she is not. So we're going to use our pop for the middle here. And then we'll come back to that later. All right, we'll pop that. Go back over here. They got the save. Ah. They're probably healing up the other Yunjin Lee. If I presume. Nah, go away. I don't want to do that. Very nice, very nice. I thoroughly chambers locked everything up, so that's perfect timing. <laughs> and beautiful, beautiful eruption on this gen once again. Incapacitation. Thrilling chambers is on cooldown, unfortunately, but we're able to keep this meg off this this worry. Oh, I forgot we have decisive strike. Whoops. That's okay. I know you want to go fast. But I'd like to use a pop goes a weasel there. Double reverse. Back to there. Oh, a little too far. Now you're exhausted. Right, they got their second gen done. Let's lock everything up with throwing gemmers. Alrighty. And we're going to put you in the basement, actually. Everything seems to be uh, in order. We're, si we're sitting on uh, seven hooks. With three gens remaining. We've made uh, ample time there. It's been a lot of fun. We've gotten a lot of value out of uh, Eruption. Brilliant Tremors. Let's go ahead and use a nice little pop on this one. Now it's about the time in the game where we want to kind of focus on where everything is. We have a gen here, one here, and one here. So this is a little bit of a more manageable uh, area. Oh, this could be a nice feral frenzy. I can taste it. <laughs> Smooth move there. Big fan. Bum, 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 bum. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, we lost a couple of gens in that chase. 
But we got Thrilling Tremors up, and it looks like they're working on the Jin way out in the back here. Alrighty. Bongiorno. I hear a crying Yunjin Lee around here. All right, down she goes. Looks like they didn't get back on the gen, but that's okay. But we do know that there's uh, somebody actively working on it. Ready? So let's go ahead and pop this. I would imagine they went back and touched it. They did, lovely. Oh yeah, they have a hatch offering for, what is it, main building? Oh boy, oh, I forgot we have to manage that too. Not you. He's not too far away. Let's go ahead and cancel this. And it looks like all the pallets are, uh, are gone. He doesn't really got much to work with here. And that's another eruption. Okie dokie. Aha, perfect. All right, close that. <laughs> Okie dokie. And down you go. We were able to stop a key, a hatch offering, and it took us a fractured cow shed. 11 hooks, four kills, only four gens done. Not bad. And we we're able to slow the game down tremendously in the very beginning. Bunch of eruption value, pop, only tremors. Of course, corrupt intervention was absolutely fantastic. Good stuff.